Take that. Dad, what, what are you doing? Well, I'm not your dad. I'm Spider-Man. Hey guys, it's Evan, and today I'm going to be building another Lego set. I'm going to be building the Spider-Man Far From Home sets. I'm really excited for this movie because I'm a big Spider-Man fan. He's my favorite Marvel character, and I'm just curious to see what happens after Endgame. But today, we're going to be building the Stark Jet and the Drone Attack. This is set 76130. It's recommended for ages 8 and up, and it's 504 pieces. In this set, you get four minifigures, Mysterio, Nick Fury, Happy Hogan, and Spider-Man. Here's a look at the back of the box. I'm also going to be building the Molten Man Battle and the Hydro Man Attack, so stay tuned for those. After building the end game sets, I'm kind of curious to see if these are going to be accurate to the movie at all. All right, so let's open this one up and see what's inside. All right, so we got bag two, bag four, the instructions and stickers, bag three, and finally, bag one. So let's build the starting kit. So here's the completed Stark Jet and Drone Attack. Let's start off with the minifigures. First up, we have Happy Hogan. So he's pretty basic. He's wearing a black suit with a black tie. He comes with a gun, like a little pistol. So maybe he'll do some fighting in the movie. I don't know. And he has some black hair as well. And he also has two faces. On one face, he kind of has a little like, mm, he's a kind of like confused look. And on one, he has an angry look. Next, we have Nick Fury. Of course, on his head, he has his eye patch and he only has one face. He's wearing his little shield jacket, which is black, and he has a gray undershirt on. He also has a belt. And he also has some pretty basic black pants, but it has some gray printing on them. And he has a pistol too. Next, we have Mysterio. He's wearing his fishbowl helmet, which is just a clear glass type of piece. When you remove his helmet, he has this gray head with no face. I think it's supposed to simulate how he looks in the comic books because you can never see his face. He has this purplish type cape right here and it's pretty cool. You just put it underneath the head. He also has these blue little water things in his hands, which look pretty cool. For his torso, there's mostly green, but there's also some gold and pinkish purple colors, the same color as the cape. So some pretty cool printing there, and yeah, I like it. Finally, we have Spider-Man. He has his cool Spider-Man suit on. He has some detailed printing on the front of his face. It is on the back of his head, but it doesn't wrap all the way around. We also get two drones. These are a black, gray, and orange color scheme. But right here, we have some flick fire missiles. And they have orange bullets, and you can shoot them out of the cannons. On the sides, there are these binoculars. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. I think they're just supposed to just represent like more guns. On the back, there's an orange light. So I'm guessing he's trying to chase Spider-Man down and shoot him. But you know, you never know. These might not even be in the movie at all. And finally, we have the start jet. As you can see, it's a pretty sleek looking aircraft. It kind of looks like a combination between a plane and a space shuttle. Starting at the front, we have the cockpit. There's a large window on the front and on the sides, there's two smaller ones. We can open it up and reveal what's inside. And right here, there's a cockpit little area. So right here, you can put Happy Hogan so he can fly the plane. And right here, there's another little spider type machine, it looks like. And there's a purple and green light. So in here, there's a little web and I'll show you what that does in a bit. Okay, let's close it back up. And on the side right here, we have a bunch of different windows. It's kind of weird though, because on one side of the jet, the seats are going one way and on the other, they're going the other way. So I think Lego just didn't want to make another set of stickers. On each wing, there's a little stud shooter and it's got a translucent blue stud that you can fire out. The same blue is used for the lights at the side up front and also the little pieces on the wings. There's also these cool pieces on the edge of the wings that give it a sleek look. The stabilizing wings are on ratchet joints so you can kind of just move them around and pose them. You can go all the way up even like touching or all the way down. But I'm gonna leave mine around the camera. On the back here we have this exhaust and a blue flame is coming out of it and just blasting away. I like the effect it has. And it's that same blue that we saw earlier. So if you open up the Stark Industries piece right here, there's three batteries inside. And look, it's the same blue. You guys realizing a theme here? And here's a look at the bottom. Now I'll show you guys the cool play feature of this set. 
So we can open up the cockpit and we have to attach Spider-Man to his web. That. There we go. I got Spider-Man on his web, so now I'm just gonna stick him back in and close back up the cockpit. You just hold it up and there's this button right here. You push it down and there he goes. And there you go, there's Spider-Man on a string. Try to reel him back in. Wait. Ah! Hold up here. He's at the front now. Ah! We need guns when you have Spider-Man. So here's what the door looks like open, and to shut it, you just close it like this. If you have some bomb pieces or any other kind of explosive things, you can just drop it out of there. You can even drop Nick Fury. Hey Nick, why don't you sit in the back? This back seat is quite luxury. Ah! Take that! <laughs> that. What, what are you doing? Well, I'm not your dad. I'm Spider-Man. Well, uh, Spider-Man, I'm kind of in the middle. Wait, what, what, what's that? My spider senses are tingling! I gotta go! Woo! Ah! Ow, I hope Spider-Man's okay. So that was the Stark Jet and Drone Attack set. Pretty cool set, I like it a lot. Um, it looks really cool and I really like the play feature that is in it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna be doing more Spider-Man Homecoming sets. I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. I'm not sure if these sets are in the movie, but I just kinda wanna see what happens after Endgame. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss an upload, share with your friends, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.